Okay, everyone. I'm Mark Passio of WhatOnEarthIsHappening.com. Welcome and thank you all for being here today. Thanks to the Tesla Science Foundation for inviting me to speak at this great conference. My presentation is going to be fast moving and hard hitting, so strap yourself in and let's get started. It's called Scarcity to Abundance. What will it take to make Tesla's dream a reality? And this presentation may be a little bit hard for some people to hear today. Not everybody may be ready for it, and that's okay. I'm gonna say the things I'm going to say anyway, and perhaps they will uh, be seeds that will perhaps sprout and grow at a future time. This is the goal that we're all here for. We say that we want free energy, and I emphasize the word say, because there's oftentimes a lot of opposition between our thoughts and our actions. What we will do to make that reality actually come about and manifest itself. So, this is what we want. We want to do away with the current unsustainable, controlled energy paradigm, okay? I call it the scarcity paradigm. It's controlled energy. It's ecologically polluting and unsustainable. It's based in the fear of scarcity. It perpetuates dependency. It is maintained by violence, exploitation, and imperialism. It promotes the separation worldview that nature is ours to conquer. It stagnates human evolutionary progression. It's completely immoral because it is in opposition to spiritual law. And it will ultimately lead to total slavery for humanity if we do not dissuade from going down this course. Conversely, we can give birth to the free energy paradigm or the paradigm of abundance, which is green and sustainable. It creates empowerment through abundance. It promotes independence. It is based in genuine power because when there is no scarcity, that obviates the need for aggression to control resources. It promotes the integral worldview that we are a part of the balance of nature. We are a part of nature. We do not own it to exploit. It promotes human evolutionary progression. It is moral, which means that it is in harmony with spiritual law, with the laws of morality. And it ultimately will lead to true freedom for humanity. But see, part of the problem is that a lot of people want to put the cart before the horse, so to speak. You can look at Tesla as the cart and the true understanding of freedom as the horse that has to lead the way to bring that new and sustainable energy paradigm into manifestation. So what is the problem? Why don't we have free energy? What is holding us back from it? Well, this is the part that may be difficult for a lot of people to hear. You know, why don't we have all of the wonderful innovations that Tesla envisioned? Why aren't we operating on a wireless world? You know, not on fossil fuels and the dependency that goes along with it. You know, why hasn't Tesla's vision for the future already come about? It's not because we don't have the technology to do it or the know-how, okay? There's another deeper, much more deeply seated psychological reason that we have not given birth to this new energy paradigm yet. And Tesla can give us a hint as to, you know, what we really need to understand. He said that peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Now, people have a different idea of what enlightenment means, and I'm going to hope to shed some light upon that. I like to say that free energy can only come as a natural consequence of universal spiritual enlightenment. And again, that's the state that we have to create internally first before we're ever going to manifest the external reality that we say we want to see, that that is our claim. Things need to change in order for that to happen. But what, in fact, needs to change? Deeply held belief systems need to change. There needs to be a paradigm shift. A way of seeing the world needs to go away. And a new way of seeing the world needs to be born into existence within each one of us. 
That is a paradigm shift or an ascension in human consciousness, coming out of darkness and rising into the light. A paradigm shift has requirements. It does not magically just take place. There is will and effort that is involved. Okay? So what are these requirements? What, in fact, must change? And here's where the, the difficulty is going to be coming in for some people here in the audience today. There are two world religions, universal religions, I call them, that are ultimately holding humanity back from the manifestation of free energy. For free energy to emerge, these religions must be completely abandoned, completely abandoned. And people may be very shocked when they hear what these religions in fact are because it is not what you think. It is not what you are thinking of as religion. And in, in that sense, we need to define what I mean by the word religion. Religion is a system of control that is based in an unchallenged dogmatic belief system. Religion as a word, the etymology of the word, comes from the Latin language. The word religare, the verb religare in Latin means to tie back, to hold back, to thwart from forward progress or to bind by tying, okay? So what is in fact being held back is the progress of our understanding of the way the laws of the universe actually work. We are being held back from an understanding of truth and the, the progress is, is all in the mind that is being held back. We are being mentally and psychologically held back this is the first religion, the universal world religion known as money. Money is a belief-based system of control that is built upon the fear of scarcity, which is purposefully designed to limit access to energy. That is what money is designed for. It is designed to limit access to energy so that we operate on a scarcity mindset and worldview instead of one that is based in abundance. That is the first universal world religion that almost every being on this planet believes in unquestioningly. The second world religion, the universal world religion that is almost as universally believed in as money is the erroneous concept known as authority. Authority is an illusion of a diseased human psyche that is based entirely in violence and is built upon the erroneous and dogmatic belief that some people are masters who have the moral right to issue commands while other people are slaves who have a moral obligation to obey these masters. That is the religion known as authority and it is a false religion. The world religions, money and authority, this is the structure that it represents. It's a hierarchical, compartmentalized structure in which we are ruled by the God known as money. Below that are the people who say, we rule you, the authoritarians. Below that, the people who say, we fool you. These are the people who propagate standard, traditional world religions and new age movement. And below that, the people who shoot at us if we disagree with the authoritarian religions. And below that, the people who profit off of it and think that it's all okay for this immoral violence to continue unabated. And below them, all the people who uphold the system through their actual energy and work. This is the system of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you recognize that or not, there it is. And that is what is taking place. This authoritarianism that is inherent to humanity's current worldview and social structure is completely antithetical. That means diametrically opposed to the rights and freedoms of the individual. Those who have become bound to an authoritarian worldview gradually lose their ability to display free thinking, engage in civic discourse, and even be able to envisage the notion of true freedom. The imagination is stifled, and they cannot even envision a way out of their current trap. Through fear, scarcity, and our own acquiescence, these two universal false religions 
keep us rooted into the base brain. They keep us in the reptile brain, the, low, the lower brain, which is the brain stem and cerebellum. This is all fight or flight mechanisms, okay? Pure survival, the reptile brain. We are not operating from a place of emotions or empathy, let alone a place of higher order thinking and reason, which is brought about by the balance of the human brain or the neocortex. That's what scarcity ultimately does. It keeps us in the reptilian complex of the mind. In such a fear-based and fight or flight state of consciousness, humanity has become collectively incapable of truly creative and liberating thinking, which is also known as human imagination. We are operating in a cage for the mind, collectively, and we need to get out of it. Adherence to the religions of money and authority blocked the implementation of Tesla's work. And here are three of Tesla's main funders. Nathan Rothschild of the Rothschild dynasty, J.P. Morgan, of course, who funded the Wardenclyffe Project, along with John Jacob Astor, one of Tesla's other main financiers, who, as we all know, pulled their funding when Tesla wanted to do something that was truly liberating for humanity that these psychopaths could not control. But you know, who, who followed those orders? Those orders came down to military men, followers of orders, who decided on those orders to destroy the Wardenclyffe Tower so that it could not be studied and understood further and preserved for posterity and hopefully be activated at some future point so that we could really move into a sustainable future as far as energy was concerned. Order followers did that adherence to the religion of authority. To this day, adherence of the religions of money and authority still block the implementation of Tesla's work. And they don't care who they have to exploit or even if they have to destroy uh, the very living, dynamic energy system upon which we all depend for life called the Earth itself. You know, profit above people, profit above the, the Earth. To this day, these adherents are polluting the very system upon which we all depend for life continuously, and we're letting them do it. You know how quickly we forget about things like the Gulf oil spill as soon as the media stops talking about it. We have such a short attention span. See, it's all about profit, all about worshiping at the altar of mammon. And that's where they want us. They want us in their mindset. They want to give us a watered-down version of the way that the psychopaths at the top level think. You know, if you're, you're saying, is what I'm basically saying that this is a conspiracy? Absolutely I'm saying that. But I'm not here to talk about the people who are ultimately in charge of that worldwide conspiracy. You know, that's a whole other lecture entirely. I'm talking about the systems of belief in the bulk of humanity that prop it up and make it able to continue to go on unchallenged. That's true for the majority of the people of this world, as painful as it is. You know, and, and if that's what our God is, expect to remain in a cage for a long, long time. If you put that God over the universal God of all creation, then my personal opinion is that we deserve what we get. And we don't deserve anything better than what we have right now, as long as that remains our highest value system. Imperialism. This is what the worshippers of the religion of authority, those who worship at the altar of authority and are order followers. You know, if you don't believe that this slide is true and this is what we're really doing, and that we're attacking other nations to take resources because we think we should have it at their expense, you know, I, I think you're a very naive person if you don't think that's the main motivating factor personally. Worshipping at the altars of money and authority, most so-called modern science is being used to perpetuate control, greed, and hegemony. Rather than what Tesla wisely told us that science should be used for, the betterment of humanity. You know, it's about 
making more effective weapons of destruction and controlling people through media and food and uh, surveillance systems, etc. That's the cutting edge of science today, not the betterment of humanity and using it for liberating purposes, unfortunately. You know, I think if Tesla was here, and I, I do believe that Tesla is here in spirit, absolutely. I think he would be telling us one thing, and he would say it in two words. He would say, get out. And he would mean get out of the mind control, get out of the head cage, get out of the systems of illusory belief that do not serve who we are. That's what Tesla's message would be if he were here today. He would tell us that until we come together in a universal spirit of enlightenment and oneness and get out of the separation worldview and get out of these completely illusory religions that have owned our minds for thousands of years, we're never going to have his implementation of free energy or any other implementation of free energy for that matter. And if we ever want to see this headline come true, what we ultimately need to do is turn within, look within, ask ourselves, do our systems of belief serve who we are and what we say we want? Or are we in internal opposition to what we say we want through what's going on in here and in here? And with that being said, I think Tesla would have told every one of us that it is all up to the individual. The answer lies in the reflection that you see in that device. That's where the answer lies. Ultimately, what we each need to do is look within ourselves, develop a newfound sense of self-respect, and free our minds. When we do that, the stars are the limit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, thank you. Uh, one more thing what I want to ask Mark. Uh, Mark have every year a conference uh, for your mind. Can you give us a few? Sure. Yeah, Nick is talking about the conference that I helped to uh, co-host. Uh, I'm one of the co-hosts of uh, the Free Your Mind conference. We held it back in 2011 in Philadelphia. We're going to be having another huge conference in Philadelphia. It's called Free Your Mind 2. It's coming up April 25th, 26th, and 27th at the Arch Street Meeting House in the historic district of Philadelphia. We're going to be bringing 24 speakers in from all over the country. I have t tons of flyers out in the, in the foyer. Pick one up on your way out. See me, uh, see Barb or Tim. We have flyers for you, and uh, we hope to see you at the Free Your Mind Conference. Uh, in the meantime, check out my website, whatonearthishappening.com, and the conference's website is freeyourmindconference.com. Thank you.